special episode with Miss Capra. So I had mentioned a couple times that Miss Capra and I were fighting um, a lot. Everybody was really worried. Everybody was super worried. I think we're fine. No, we're not. We're good, right? Yeah. Right? Sure. <laughs> sure and fine are bad words. Yeah, sure. We're good, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Are we good? I don't know. I feel like you're tricking me. Yeah. I'm good. Are you good? I'm good. Okay. We're good? We're good. Okay. So, and the reasons why I, I, we wanted to kind of like lay it out here and kind of talk about uh, what's been happening in the past couple months and... A lot. A lot. Uh, and then the reasons why we're fighting and then kind of what... Um, and all basically what we're going to talk about is why we were fighting and how I was right. How Nick's always right. <sighs> So as you guys know, we bought uh, we bought the gym, which happens to be right behind me, and uh, it's been awesome. Wait, Just go backwards. Okay. You don't wanna, yeah, you don't want to tell them like the initial story because I mean you kind of like touched on it, but I think it'd be funnier if we just straight up told what like, story? The story of how how that all happened, like like we were at the other gym. Hours. Okay, so basically what happened was, see what happened was, uh, we were going to another gym, and the hours on that gym were just crappy. And nothing on that gym, but it was just, you know, you guys, you guys know, we work a lot. So we have six businesses and a nonprofit that we have to manage, and it's just a lot. So sometimes we don't get to go, if I don't have my kids for that night, we don't get to go to the gym until... 7 30 8 o'clock at night and but we still make it a priority to go to the gym um and they would like you got 15 minutes to be out of here we're like what the hell we just walked, <laughs> we in the just door. walked into the door and um so that wasn't then it became a, an issue then they started yeah. like we had a like a minor snowstorm it was like literally a half quarter inch of snow and they shut the city down for like three weeks <laughs> oh they shut the gym down for it was like a week yeah yeah because it was cold outside. <laughs> Anyways, which just didn't fit with us either. I was doing donuts in the parking lot with my truck. Um, so we switched back to the gym next door, which was 24-7. Snap Fitness, which we used to actually use Snap Fitness more regularly, but we decided to go with the other gym for a while because they had so This was much. years ago. Yeah. yeah, this was a few years ago. Yeah. Um, but anyways, we got our membership back over there. And immediately I found out that it was still for sale. And I think it was pretty much that day, and then right? The wheels started turning. And then my, I was like, oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, we negotiated. I mean, how much do you want to go through into that? No, I, this is what happened. I found out, I found out that it was, it was for sale. Mm -hmm. And I came and told Miss Capra that it was for sale and, and that I wanted to buy it. Anybody got time for that? That's what I say. <laughs> you are not pleased. I say, I ain't no shoes or nothing. But <laughs> you're so ridiculous. I was praying for my life. So you were not initially down for the purchase of the gym. Why? Well, there's a lot of reasons, but probably the biggest thing is that we just do too much. And we already do too much. And at this time, when he's talking to me about this, we had a staff of... Maybe one or two. No. We had Jamie and we had. We had everybody. Here. We only oh, hired. He wasn't here. He wasn't here. Oh, that's yet. right. That's right. He weren't Johnny here. was not here yet. Nobody was here yet. Like, we were just kind of. He was throwing this around when there was, like, basically on staff here, there was, like, three of us. And I'm like, you are crazy. But he does this thing, which it's like he gets really excited about new things and new projects and endeavors. And then, like, when he has it on his mind, there is, like, the worst thing that you can do is tell him no. <laughs> you have to let him go for it. So he gets really pumped about new ideas, and, and he's got a big vision. We'll say that. You're full of vision, and you're full of, like, you're passionate about things, and you see things before... Other people see yeah. them before you see them. Sometimes before I see them, and I was trying to get All you the to. Time. <laughs> I was trying to get you to see. I was like, "Listen, babe, you gotta understand the big picture here." 
Right. And I'm like, okay, but again, like I get nervous more about being sort of like tied down to things. I really like the idea of us being able to travel. A few years ago, when we first started our relationship, he was like, we're just going to get a van, and we're going to turn it, and we're going to go surf all across the coast and head down We're still going to do that. And I was like, I'm building, awesome. I'm building the infrastructure then, to be able to do I that. And then I moved here, and we're doing our thing, and he's like, let's set up like an army of people and create an empire right here that <laughs> we can never leave and go. That's not true. We leave all the time. Anyway. I, the more and more things he adds to the list, the more nervous I get about never getting to, like, go. Because I like to go. We go all the I know, time. I just really like that. So I was getting nervous about that. So the thing is what happens what happens is, like, when we start a new business, like, anybody that knows when you start a good business, e- even if you have, like, all the infrastructure in the world set up, you are going to have to spend a good amount of time when you first pull that trigger. Same thing. She was worried about Johnny Slicks, too. Like... And, and having it and every and she does this thing where like I pull the trigger on something and she goes see I told you so and anyways so that happened with Johnny Slicks it was a really intense I never said no to that no you didn't say no but you you did say like see I knew this was going to happen cause like for because the first, you shift your focus to the new business, and then I'm like, yeah, because it's it, a stack of all the things from the other businesses, and I'm like, babe, we really need help. <laughs> but but that's the way it works. Like, and then Johnny Slicks kind of it, it kind of leveled out, and well, um, Johnny just he was a rock star, and I had no idea. Yeah, so we the first shit. forty, I would say the first week, forty eight hours was really intense, but the first week was really intense. But then it it got its own rhythm going, and you know now it's now it's kind of not on autopilot, it's but like it's when you are you have a baby at first and you don't sleep through the <coughs> night. You have a baby, you don't sleep through the night, and you're up all night. That's exactly babies, what it's like, yeah. And you're nurturing it, and you're loving and caring for it, and you're making sure that it's okay, and then eventually, like it stands on its own two feet, right? And it wipes its own ass. It does. Johnny Johnny slicks <laughs> Johnny wipes, wipes his own ass. He wipes his own ass now. <laughs> So, but that's the way it was. It's first, it's first, and then I think she foresaw that the gym was going to be the same way. Just and a it, lot of, a lot of initial effort that I was worried that we didn't have time. But this is the it. first, this is technically like the first business that we bought that was established. I mean, it, we didn't start well, this. Carton. That's true. That's true. But like that we were in charge of the infrastructure mm-hmm. and everything. That's true. So it was an established business, but we had to go in and basically modernize it. We're currently modernizing it, and I don't know. So here's what like, I'll say. We, I originally was just like, I do not want to do this. There is no freaking way. Like, you're not talking me into this she, one. She did not want to do Like, like drug no, her. No, she was like a mule. No, like, no. feet in the mud, getting drugged through the dirt. I'm like, you're going to be off having adventures, and I'm going to be fucking cleaning toilets language miss, language i'm miss not Capra. doing it <laughs> but you know, you know what's, what was funny is like as soon as we started talking about buying the gym like all this weird stuff started happening like people started asking her randomly like what do you know about that gym i'm thinking about getting a membership it was and so then weird. And, I'm like, and then why are you asking me and then <laughs> hudson the intern's mom actually works at a snap fitness up in Min- how do you say minnesota? minnesota no how do you say it how do they say Minnesota. it? Minnesota. 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 She works at mean up in Snap Fitness in Minnesota, uh, which happens to be where the Snap Corporate is. And um, she started talking about it all, and I'm just like, why is everybody talking about Snap Fitness? I think it made it worse. Actually, I thought it would help. And she was then she started getting more stubborn. So as much as I am like have a vision and go for it, she's she can put her heels in and be like, no. But the truth is, is I don't usually do that. I usually go okay. Like, let's talk. Well, You're a dreamer. He's a dreamer. And he's got a big, he's a visionary. And he, so sometimes he's like, I'm like, okay, babe. Like, But the th- but like honestly, the thing was, it was just about time. Yeah. And not having, like, we don't have much time together as it is. Uh, believe, I know everybody probably thinks, like, that's, they're always together. It's, that's what I say, too. But, well, babe, we're always together. <laughs> why are you, why are you complaining? <laughs> what is, I'm, we are really fortunate. I feel like we are really fortunate to have each other and be able to work so well together. And from the get-go, that's been huge. That's but, how we met. That's how but we But this went. is about why we were fighting. I know. So that's been huge. But it's also, if you can imagine, like, having the person that you're with all the time be just, like, your work bud. Like, you guys are making... What's wrong with that? It's great. But it's a challenge. 
Would you say it's not a challenge? Why? It's not a challenge for me. <laughs> I like having you as a work, work bud. <laughs> yeah, but we're constantly arguing over little stupid stuff. No, no, no. You're arguing over little <laughs> stuff. I am not arguing. Okay. So anyways... <laughs> We Why did you want to buy the gym? I don't want to buy the gym because we wouldn't have any time together. We already have a minimal amount of like non-work time. Okay. And you've been kind of like on a roll with businesses and wanting to start new things. And we just had talked about buying a coffee cart that was for sale up the road. Success. <laughs> <laughs> and I just was like, okay, because I take on the entire like marketing role for everything, I'm like, I just don't want to do something else right now. And you do a, such a great job at that. Thanks, babe. I don't want to do any more, and I don't want to be tied down to anything here. But he really saw the vision for it. And in, in this what? process... Yeah, commitment issues, right? right. Yeah, totally, right? <laughs> <laughs> you totally have commitment issues, and you were always talking about me having... <laughs> oh, you just don't want to commit to anything. <laughs> that's, that's you. Anyways, your story. I mean, you're telling your story. Go ahead. No. Um, so I think the biggest thing is that I was just worried about those things. So we were fighting about it. One night, we are like, relax. We're hanging out in a hotel room because we were doing work on a trip far away. We're hanging out in a hotel room and oh, God. Ch- chit-chatting. And he, like, I offers for- to rub my feet, which I that's for- not a thing. I forgot about that. Yeah. And he offers to rub my feet. That's not a thing. So I was like, hell yeah, you can rub my feet. That's so nice. And then I should have known. It, it didn't work. I should have known. He was like, so about this. So he'd been talking to, like, Snap Corporate and got like all these details from them and had like paperwork and they'd been mailing them like all this information. I had all the financials for like the past year, several years. I had done all the, I audited the company. I had some other business partners of mine like evaluate the company. I talked to the accountant, I was like, everything. Let's put a pin in it, babe. <laughs> I didn't do my, look, listen. You, what did your dad and mom say when you were a kid? Like, if you want to do something, come to them with a full, flushed out plan right and, and, and a solution for negotiation don't come up there half so cocked he goes, okay i just want to talk to you as you're my feet i just want to talk to you about this gym thing he starts going through everything that he'd been talking to them about behind my back and i'm like okay uh, behind I was your back like, that's kind of harsh i'm like okay and then he's like so babe like sell me on it <laughs> pitch it to me i was like what motherfucker language man i don't want to do this why the hell would i pitch it to you he's like trying to get me to help him process something that i'm completely against like she lost her shit oh my god finally we're like arguing about it i'm like you're crazy you're out of your mind he's like okay well they want this price for it what if i just offered we're not talking about money though what we're not talking money let's not talk about money well, I just wanted to say what you offered him. I'm no. not going to say how much it was. Oh, don't say it. Don't don't say the money. Why? Because. I'm not going to say how much. Okay. So he goes, what if I just offer them this much? Okay. And I was like, ha! Huh! If they take that much, we'll, we'll do it. <laughs> and then he came they, home. They took that much. <laughs> <laughs> he came home and made an offer, and and I they were sent him a thing within a few hours. And I was like, fuck. What is with your language? You're like That's a sailor. That's what I was like. Like that. That's exactly. And then I was like, okay, well, I guess we're doing it. And honestly, because of how amazing the price was, it'd be absolutely retarded not to do it. But nobody else would do it. Nobody wanted it. Well, and then that's ridiculous to me because it's amazing. I think that, I think, I just think that it was, I knew with every, what did I tell you? Fiber of my being. This every, is what I, I said, I told her, I said, I know with every fiber of my being that we're supposed to have this gym. And I know that sounds weird, but like, I just know it. I, I just knew like, it. I know we're not. <laughs> she was wrong. <laughs> no, but I did kind of come back to you when this all breezed over. I just was like, I don't want to do this. But listen, I can, comp- I really do trust him completely as far as like his business making sense and being able to like see things preemptively in people but he sees people potential that they don't see in themselves and kind of helps them to grow into it and so I was like you know what I trust you in that way so even though I don't want to do this even though I don't want to do this I um I believe in you and if you believe this strongly that's about so, it that's so sweet babe yeah if you believe this strongly about it then I think it's probably she, she didn't tell me that in person and it's just it's just for the camera <laughs> 
did. No, she did. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so then, in the middle of all this, this is the kicker that like just lit my ass up. Are you gonna tell that story? Can I? Just don't use like names, names. or anything. Protect the innocent. Protect the well. <laughs> sure. We were in the middle of just all this negotiations, and he was talking to the owner every day. And the owner lived far away, and so the, hadn't been to the gym in a while, and so just the management is over there operating things. And so I wanted to go over there and take a few photos of products that we have, and I've done that a million times. Like, whoever's over there usually doesn't care. So I just went over there and said, hey, can I take a few pictures? Nobody's really in there, and I was just going to set them up, take shots. It was the Raider Project Shakers. Yeah. Yeah. And um, big deal. she, like, lost it on me. It was like, you can't come in here. And take photos. No cameras allowed. Da, 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 da. And I was just like, um, I feel like it's not that big of a deal. Like, we're right in the middle of talking about negotiation stuff. I'm like, I'm. Which I, was public knowledge at that point. Like, we, the cat was out of the bag that we I'm were like, in negotiations for right. purchasing it. It's a but, small town. <laughs> and this chick, like, ran me out of there and then sent somebody over to hoot and holler at me and ran me out of there. Then shows up in our office acting crazy about how we're not allowed to film in here and brings over paperwork that says it in their corporate papers that you're not allowed to take a photo in the gym. I was like, I feel like this is a really bad idea. So Nick was like, well, we'll just buy it. <laughs> and uh, it's not a problem anymore. Yeah, we fired her. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say that either. Why? You can cut it out. We're not cutting this. This is all live. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's how we do it here. So that's what we're fighting about. Yeah, it wasn't um, It wasn't su a, such a pleasant couple months. Just, just feeling a little overwhelmed, just getting our feet underneath us with, like, getting things squared away with, you know, staff. But what, what really, truly happens and this is something i'll say to like inspire anybody else who's in the process of thinking of moving forward on something and all that you really and we said this to a friend yesterday it's one thing i've learned from him you really cannot expect growth unless you start making moves yeah you got to get uncomfortable you have to you have to break through your comfort zone if you're just gonna sit hang out in your comfort zone like you're never gonna it's not gonna grow. It ain't gonna, gonna happen. Grow. Yeah. He's like, never say no to opportunity, and, and right. an opportunity for growth, and that's always stuck with me. So, but that, like, but hold on, but that doesn't mean that you're not gonna like fail. Like you can still <laughs> fail. Like <laughs> that just because you're going for it and like I'm gonna go, go for, for it. it. <laughs> that doesn't mean that you can't fail. It just means that you're gonna learn something and that you might be successful. And if you do enough, you will be successful. But there's going to be a lot of failure in there. And, you know, we're still f figuring things out and failing. But, but what, what he did by making this opportunity become available for the gym and by and choosing it, saying, I want to do this, we ha now have a, a team of nine people yeah. that are actively working for us and with us. And I would say it's the best people I've ever worked with. 100%. And, Hands down. Um, yeah. I'm blown away every day by their work ethic and their ability to take ownership of their part of everything. Well, and we've also we've created an environment between what the companies here and then the gym next door of just a family. And even the members have even started to notice that, like, the differences in having us involved on a semi-daily basis. And, We're there um, all the time. That's where we work out. You know, and we it's just... We get together with e each other and hang out in there and work out in there with our crew and our friends. I, I feel like I feel like our team... Yeah, we have nine people on staff, but I feel like our team has is, is grown even that much bigger. Um, and the family, like, you know, like, we're doing some modernization next door. So if anybody ever is in the area, come check it out. But... Um, like we have to get it painted, we've got to get floors done, and we and Brandon's our facility, facilities manager, but we were hiring other people, electricians, to move some stuff around. Uh, I gotta have, a, I gotta replace my computer. All of this is gonna be done by members in the gym. They heard like, about they like, heard about what we were doing, and like, oh, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. You know, I'm gonna pay somebody to do it anyway. Like, why not put it right back into a member? So I, that's just that concept of that community, and, and we're in a small town, so. Um, I've I've just fell in love with the whole process. If you build it, they will come. 
That's, that's, that's true. It's like legitimate. And it's, true. It's, true. <laughs> it's like legitimately <laughs> true. And I, my parents were that way too. Like I, I just have kind of seen it modeled more and more. And that's one of the things that I value about you the most is that you see something and you say oh, yes. Thanks. thanks, babe. You see something, you say yes, and then so, we're able to create job opportunities for so other the, people. So and, the learning lesson here is don't fight with me on things so much is what you're saying. Is that what this was? Is this an intervention? <laughs> I'm just Did like. Did you bring Ashley here so that I wouldn't freak out? <laughs> I'm just wondering if that's like what, if that's what you've learned over this couple months process is like. No, that I said it all out loud. I guess. Oh. Uh, don't argue with Nick so much. Right. Don't fight it so much. But don't no, hon it. honestly though, it was a like once we closed and like went through the process and then we brought. Um, actually, well, you guys probably saw in the other video, um, Rebecca Slicks, Johnny Slicks' wife, um, boss lady, is the manager of the gym. And sh holy fucking shit, man, she is awesome. That so was, that I know. was my was, find. I knew that she'd be. That good. was actually yeah. You actually pulled the trigger on but that. But I one. had no idea how good. And I gotta say, like, Blown she away. set foot in there the first day, and I was like. We're gonna be okay. Like, so she's she has got it. But it, but it totally was a complete shit show. Like the the bills changing over water, electricity, uh, equipment, gear, First day things. They came and shut off the water. Like, they shut off the Wi-Fi. They shut off the doors. They shut off the phone. The system was down. We couldn't sign. We didn't. Nobody knew how to sign new members up. Like, it was just like we couldn't take people's money. It was. And like that's bad as a business. You don't. You can't take people's money. Like it is your job to take people's money. And you can't even do that. And it was. Uh, it Everybody was, got a free workout. So. It was. It was a. It was a shit show. But uh, we we got through it. And that's like with anything. Like I said, that that infant stage, you have to like, the first that first forty eight hours after we took, I was like until we had to go up to Raleigh train was. That was rough. That was exhausting. We were here until that was rough. very very late at night every night. But it's start like now that we've got a plan. Um, our facilities manager is heavily involved. We got a solid manager over there. We've got a great team, so everything's starting to level out, and we got a good plan to like replace all the equipment, get it modernized. Um, you know, we're making it more. We just bought a yeah. Sornex rack. Yeah, it's which I'm excited sweet. about. We got Josh's, an Airdyne bike in there. Rubber. Josh, Josh is jelly. He's ready to come lift. He's been he's been wanting one of those for a long time. Um, yeah, so we're gonna put it's it's. It's going to be able to fit as small space as it is. It's going to be able to uh, meet a bunch of different demands. Um, and uh, something, I mean, I, I don't even think I've told you this, but like I've wanted my own gym since I was 14 years old. So this is like a, a huge dream come true for me. Um, so it's exciting. And I'm glad that you didn't stop me. I didn't stop you. Well, you could have. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, he had, you he might have just packed your bags and left. <laughs> no, it just took, it did take a lot and, and it will take a lot. But the truth is because we said yes, the team grew and the support grew. Yeah. And now here we are and we're all right. So final lessons before we close this out. Lessons learned. Say yes to opportunity. Say yes to opportunity. If you build it, they will come. Don't fight with your significant other. Be, what does your mom always say? Be low. No, what does your mom always say to you? Like, be, what? be good to each other. Be, take care of each other. Take care of each other. That's what she says. Take care of each other. She stole that one off the Bonnie Raitt. Is that what it is? She oh. says that at all of her shows. Take care of each other. Well, anyways, yeah, that's it, guys. That's why we were fighting, but we, we got through it, and uh, we still fight. That, uh, I'll be honest. We still, we're still fighting about stuff, but not about the gym now. We're just a lot alike, and we're pretty – we both are pretty uh, – well, you're kind of high strong and I'm kind of like well, let's just be real clear she's fighting with me I'm, I'm really not fighting about anything <laughs> I'm pretty level headed no no you're wound so tight that's true at all but anyways thanks for watching slash listening uh, yeah take care of each other take care of each other say yes to opportunity work hard yeah you guys know the deal never quit never surrender We'll see you guys tomorrow.